This is the solution to written homework six. Okay, so first step is let's distribute the radical to the numerator and the denominator. So that would be 64 x to 5 y to 3, fourth root of that, divided by fourth root of z to 4. Okay, so now the fourth root of z to 4, that's the absolute value of z. So this is the fourth root of 64 x to 5 y to 3 and then over absolute value z. That's because this is an even radical. Uh, however, we're, we are to assume that all variables are positive. And therefore, the absolute value of z is just z. So this is fourth root of 64 x to 5 y to 3 over z. So now let's work on the other pieces. So now radical can distribute to the factors in this product. So that would be fourth root 64 times fourth root of x to 5 times fourth root of y cubed, this over z. Okay, now 64, that's 2 to 6. So that is uh, the fourth root of 2 to 6. And x to 5, well, that's uh, x to 4 multiplied by x. So that's fourth root of x to 4 times x, because x to 4 times x is x to 5. And then this factor doesn't get simplified any further, all over z. So <clears throat> this is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, six of them. So four of them can, can come out as a single 2. So I'll do this and I'll do it in steps, in two steps. So this would be fourth root of 2 to 4 multiplied by 2 to 2, because bases are the same, you'd add exponents, that's 2 to 6. This <coughs> uh, radical can now, can now distribute to this product. So this would be fourth root x to 4 fourth root x, fourth root y cubed, all over z. <clears throat> so fourth root 2 to 4, well that's 2. So 2, fourth root uh, 2 to 2. Fourth root x to 4, well that's absolute value x fourth root x, and then fourth root y cubed over z. Uh, little simplifications here. I guess we could write 2 squared is 4. And then this absolute value of x is just x again because all variables are positive. So this would be 2 fourth root of 4 times x times the fourth root of x times the fourth root of y cubed 
and then this over z. So that's the answer to part A. The answer to part B is these radicals can be combined. Notice that this is third radical and the others are second radical. The usual name for second radical is square root. Okay. So let's combine what we can. So this would be uh, square root 50 and then a cubed over square root 4b squared times square root 25a. That's all the square roots together. And then the cube root can be by itself here. So cube root 27b to 6. OK. So now we'll, simplify, we'll collect all these radicals together. So these radicals can be joined in product, and these radicals can be joined in quotient. So this would be 50a cubed, and then to do it in steps, 4b squared multiplied by 25a. Okay, so let's just so this is all under one big radical. So let's distribute this cube root here. So this would be cube root 27 times cube root b to 6. Okay, let's multiply this out. So this would be square root 50a cubed, and then divide by 100, ab squared. Okay, cube root of 27 is 3. Cube root of b to 6, well, <clears throat> because it's an odd radical, there's no need for square roots, and that would be b to 6 over 3. Okay, and 6 over 3 is 2. So, that would be, so 50 over 100, that'll leave us a 2 in a denominator, so 2. a cubed over a, that's a squared in the numerator. And then nothing cancels with that, so that's b squared. And then this is 3. And b to 6 over 3, that's 2. So b squared. So now we can distribute this radical to each of the component factors. So that would be square root squared over square root 2 square root b squared and then 3 b squared square root a squared that's absolute a square root of 2 bears no simplification uh, square root b squared that's absolute b and then 3b <coughs> squared but we said that all variables are positive, so this would be just a over square root 2 b, and then 3 b squared. This b will cancel with one of those b's, so I can bring, and I'll bring the 3 into the numerator so that this will be 3ab. Uh, over square root 2. <clears throat> and if you desired to do so, you could rationalize the denominator uh, by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 2. So that would be 3 uh, square root 2 AB divided by 2.
that's the answer.